What are the richest black women who have billions of dollars but have remained away from the world's eyes? With their wealth and the influence that comes with it, these black women seem to control their fields. However, interestingly, the world knows little about them, what they do, and how much wealth they have. Because we are talking about the richest black women from around the world, there are African women on the list who are in the oil sector. From fashion, acting, singing, sports, media, and various other fields, black women are literally everywhere. But who are these richest black women in the world who have deliberately stayed away from fame and the world's attention? Welcome to a new episode of Black Africa Diary, a channel where we talk about black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of black Africa, its stories, and the events defining it. In this episode, we will tell you about the richest black women in the world you don't know about. Let's get started. Number 11, Serena Williams. Serena Williams is the tennis goddess who does not need any introduction. Her incredible talent and success on the tennis court have helped her build a net worth of $300 million. With her father's coaching and her extraordinary talent, Serena became a dominant force in the world of sports, particularly tennis, securing her place as one of the greatest of all time. Her legacy is unmatched, and she has become a significant influence on the younger generation. Although she retired from tennis in 2022, she earned $95 million from her winnings by then. Serena was a serial winner, ranked world number one in singles by the Women's Tennis Association for 319 weeks. Beyond sports, Serena has a strong presence in the fashion industry. Her outfits on the tennis court often made headlines. She signed a deal with Nike after ending her partnership with Puma and launched her own line. Additionally, she has her own designer apparel line, Aneris, and has launched a signature collection of handbags and jewelry. Serena also introduced a sustainable clothing line, S by Serena, inspired by 1990s streetwear. She even ventured into the nail industry, becoming a certified nail technician to address her own needs. Serena's entrepreneurial spirit doesn't stop there. She has numerous endorsement deals with over a dozen brands and holds a small stake in the Miami Dolphins. She has also explored the entertainment and writing industries. In 2022, she launched 926 Productions, a multimedia company, and published her first children's book. Her self-made journey, starting from her childhood, has earned her a spot on America's self-made women list. Number 10, Emma Greed. Emma Greed is a British millionaire with a net worth of roughly $350 million. She has established herself as a prominent figure in the fashion industry. Her interest in fashion began at a young age, leading her to pursue business studies at the London College of Fashion. However, her path diverged when she secured an internship at Gucci, prompting her to leave college. Following her internship, Greed worked as a producer at Inca Productions, an event company specializing in fashion shows. Surprisingly, her next move wasn't in fashion. She founded and led independent talent brand Worldwide, a talent management and entertainment marketing agency based in London. In 2008, Greed's company was acquired by Rogers & Cowan, a significant milestone in her career. Prior to the acquisition, she approached the Kardashian family with the idea of a denim company, which they eagerly embraced. In 2016, Greed, along with Khloe Kardashian, launched the denim brand, later expanding their product range to include dresses, activewear, swimwear, sleepwear, and shoes. Later, Greed collaborated with Kim Kardashian to establish Skims, a shapewear brand, where she serves as the chief product officer. Skims quickly gained momentum, achieving a valuation of $4 billion following a funding round in 2023. Beyond fashion, Greed has ventured into other entrepreneurial pursuits. In 2021, she co-founded Safely, a company specializing in plant-based cleaning and self-care products, alongside Kris Jenner and Chrissy Teigen. Additionally, Greed showcased her business acumen on the popular ABC series Shark Tank, becoming the first black woman to appear on the show. Number nine, Iman Abuzaid. Iman Abuzaid is a Sudanese-born physician and entrepreneur excelling in the healthcare sector. As the co-founder and CEO of Incredible Health, Iman has tackled the nursing shortage in American hospitals through an innovative platform matching nurses with job opportunities, often likened to an advanced version of LinkedIn. Despite her youth, 
Iman's entrepreneurial prowess has secured her the 77th spot on Forbes' 2023 list of America's self-made women, boasting an impressive score of 8 out of 10. Since its launching in 2017, Incredible Health has attracted substantial investments, achieving a valuation of $1.65 billion by 2022. Notably, Iman's leadership role in a unicorn business distinguishes her, underscoring her remarkable achievements in revolutionizing the tech-enabled career marketplace within healthcare. Iman's journey from being the daughter of a Sudanese surgeon in Saudi Arabia to obtaining a medical degree in the UK and later entering healthcare consulting in the US exemplifies her resilience and determination. With a net worth of $350 million, she ranks among the wealthiest women globally, cementing her status as a self-made entrepreneur who charted her path to success without significant financial assistance. Number 8. Beyoncé Knowles With a net worth of $540 million, Beyoncé stands as Queen Bey, known for her illustrious musical career, both as a member of Destiny's Child and as a solo artist. Beyond her music, she's ventured into endorsements and business deals. Since beginning her music career in the late 90s, Beyoncé has become a powerhouse in the industry, influencing artists like Rihanna, Taylor Swift, and Adele. Beyoncé's stage presence and performances set her apart from her peers, creating anticipation among her fans for her tours. In 2023, her Renaissance World Tour achieved unprecedented success, selling over 1 million tickets and becoming her largest solo tour to date, with ticket sales totaling $154.4 million. This was simply unbelievable. Her previous tours in 2018 and 2016 grossed 87 million and 86.9 million respectively, demonstrating her consistent success in live performances. In addition to her tours, Beyonce's revenue streams include record sales, with an estimated 200 million records sold worldwide, solidifying her status as one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Her influence extends beyond music, with significant roles in films like Dreamgirls, where she portrayed Diana Ross. In fashion, she's collaborated with brands such as Balmain and previously worked with Topshop to launch her activewear line, Ivy Park. Her endorsements cover a wide range of industries, from Pepsi to fragrances with Tommy Hilfiger, showcasing her versatility and business acumen. In 2015, she became a co-owner of Tidal, a music streaming service, further diversifying her portfolio. Ranked 48th on Forbes' 2023 list of America's self-made women with a score of 8 out of 10, Beyoncé's multifaceted career underscores her status as a dominant figure, not just in music but across various sectors. Number 7. Sheila Johnson Sheila Johnson began her career in the entertainment industry. However, she has since branched out into various fields, earning significant income along the way. One area where she has made a substantial impact is in professional sports. She owns stakes in multiple franchises, including the Washington Mystics in the Women's National Basketball Association and the Washington Wizards in the National Basketball Association. Additionally, she is a partner in the Washington Capitals, a National Hockey League team. Her investments in these franchises made her the first African-American woman to be an owner or partner in three professional sports teams. Sheila's career began with co-founding Black Entertainment Television, BET, one of the largest cable TV channels in the industry. BET was sold for $3 billion in 2001, after which Sheila sold her shares and invested in the hospitality industry. Today, she is the CEO of Salamander Hospitality, which she founded in 2005. Salamander Hospitality has grown significantly, boasting several high-profile properties. These include the Innisbrook Resort and Golf Club in Palm Harbor, Florida, the Aurora Anguilla in the British West Indies, the Hotel Bennett in Charleston, South Carolina, Half Moon in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and the Salamander Resort and Spa in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Middleburg, Virginia. Sheila's work ethic and achievements are phenomenal. She was the first African-American woman to become a billionaire, a milestone she reached through her diverse ventures. Beyond hospitality, she has also ventured into film production, with movies like Kicking It and The Butler, which garnered several nominations and awards. Her net worth stands at $850 million, earning her the 28th spot on Forbes' list of self-made women with a score of 9 out of 10. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, 
Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. Number 6. Hajabola Shagaya With a net worth between $950 million and $1 billion, Hajiabola Shagaya is a Nigerian-born international business magnate, fashion enthusiast, and influential figure in politics. Bola's career started in the banking sector, where she initially served in the audit unit of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. However, her enterprising nature soon led her to explore avenues beyond banking. Venturing into the photography industry, she imported photographic materials and introduced the Konica brand to Nigerian and West African markets. Despite a brief return to banking, including a role on the board of Unity Bank PLC, Bola has significantly diversified her portfolio, making strides in Nigeria's real estate and oil and gas sectors. Currently, Bola holds the position of managing director of one of Nigeria's biggest importers and distributors of base oil company, catering to local lubricant blending plants. Moreover, she is the founder and leader of Bulma's Group International, a conglomerate with interests spanning various industries, notably real estate. Her real estate ventures stretch across Nigerian cities and are expanding globally, spearheaded by her children. Number 5. Njina Kenyatta Njina Kenyatta is the former First Lady of Kenya, with a net worth of roughly $1 billion. As the wife of Kenya's former president and the mother of the current president, Njina played a pivotal role in her country's history, particularly during its independence 60 years ago. While not involved in politics, she stood alongside her husband as the nation commemorated its independence, earning her the revered title Mama Ngina, signifying her as the mother of the nation in recognition of her contributions to the country. Like many women on this list, she actively engages in supporting various community development projects. Her business interests extend across diverse sectors where she holds crucial roles. Notably, her family holds a significant stake in NCBA Group, one of Kenya's top privately held banks, ranking third in asset value. Additionally, they have invested in the Heritage Group of Hotels, a renowned hospitality chain in Kenya, which has been esteemed for its exceptional service for over two decades and has hosted millions of guests. In addition to banking and hospitality, she has investments in Brookside Dairies, a leading dairy processing company in Kenya, where her family's ownership carries considerable influence. Furthermore, she is recognized as one of Kenya Power's major individual investors, holding millions of shares in the power sector. The family's offshore investments, disclosed in the Pandora Papers, highlight their diverse portfolio, including media ownership and stock holdings. Number four, Folarunso Alakija. Folarunso Alakija was once Nigeria's wealthiest woman and is currently the vice chairman of FAMFA Oil, having a net worth of $1 billion. Initially starting her career in banking, she spent 12 years in the industry before venturing into fashion. Studying at prestigious institutions in London, she launched Supreme Stitches, later rebranded as Rose of Sharon House of Fashion. Her business expanded to include related ventures like Rose of Sharon Prints and promotions before making significant strides in the oil and gas sector. FAMFA Oil Limited, the family's flagship enterprise, is a major player in Nigeria's crude oil export industry, with interests in lucrative offshore assets, such as the Agbami oil field. Alakija's leadership as executive vice chairman has been instrumental in the company's growth, complementing her dedication to the fashion industry, where she served as president of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria. Moreover, her involvement in real estate through Dayspring Property Development Company Limited reflects her diverse entrepreneurial journey earning her recurrent recognition on Forbes's list of the world's most influential women. Number three, Rihanna. At the age of 36 years, Rihanna has transformed her humble beginnings into an incredible success story, earning her a spot on the list of billionaires. With a net worth of $1.4 billion, she stands 10th on the list of self-made women. What makes her achievement so compelling is how she harnessed her passion for both fashion and music to reach these heights. Rihanna is undoubtedly one of the most successful artists globally. She is the second best-selling female music artist of all time and the highest certified female artist on the top artist list. However, the majority of her wealth comes from her company, Fenty Beauty. This venture was a significant turning point for her, turning her love for makeup into a highly profitable business. Fenty Beauty is estimated to be valued at $2.8 billion, with Rihanna owning a 50% stake. 
Additionally, she launched her lingerie line, Savage X Fenty, in which she holds a 30% stake. Rihanna's entrepreneurial spirit doesn't stop there. In 2020, she launched a skincare brand, Fenty Skin, and she also founded a beauty and stylist agency, as well as a photo agency called A Dog Ate My Homework. Before these ventures, she had lucrative endorsements and partnerships. Her first fragrance, Rebel Fleur, was projected to generate $80 million, and she has endorsed numerous other fragrances since then. Her love for fashion led her to create timeless pieces with various brands, including Armani and River Island, where she debuted her first women's fashion collection in London. She also collaborated with Dior, becoming the first black female face of the brand, and later served as the creative director of Puma, debuting her first clothing line at New York Fashion Week. Beyond her business and musical achievements, Rihanna has recently added the title of mother to her resume. This new role inspired her to start a maternity line focused on comfort. Number two, Isabel Dos Santos. With a net worth of $1.4 billion, Isabel Dos Santos is the eldest child of Jose Eduardo Dos Santos, who served as the nation's president for nearly four decades, spanning from 1979 to 2017. Widely recognized for her influential role in the business world, Dos Santos has meticulously cultivated an extensive and diverse investment portfolio over the course of her career. Among her notable investments, Dos Santos boasts a significant 25% ownership stake in Unitel, a leading mobile phone company that has become a cornerstone of Angola's telecommunications sector. Additionally, she holds a substantial 25% interest in Banco BICSA, a major financial institution contributing to the economic landscape of Angola. Expanding her entrepreneurial horizons beyond the borders of Angola, Dos Santos has made significant investments in NOS SGPS, a prominent cable TV provider based in Portugal. Furthermore, she maintains an ownership stake of just under 20% in Banco BPI, a key player in Angola's financial markets. These investments underscore her diverse business acumen and strategic foresight in navigating both local and international markets. Number one, Oprah Winfrey. This list wouldn't be complete without the queen of all media, Oprah Winfrey. Known as the richest African-American woman of the 20th century, Oprah has an astounding net worth of $2.8 billion. Despite significant challenges, Oprah transformed her life from a little girl in Mississippi into one of unparalleled achievement. Before becoming a media giant, Oprah began her career at a local station in Nashville. There, she made history as the youngest news anchor and the first black female news anchor. Her dedication and talent ensured that her challenging background did not impede her education. She earned a scholarship to Tennessee State University, where she successfully continued her studies and burgeoning career. Oprah's major breakthrough came when she started hosting The Oprah Winfrey Show. Airing from 1986 to 2011, the show was monumental, laying the foundation for her vast empire. Beyond hosting, Oprah expanded into production, establishing her own company, Harpo Productions. Harpo Productions was behind numerous successful shows, including The Oprah Winfrey Show, Dr. Phil, Rachel Ray, and The Dr. Oz Show. In 2011, Oprah launched her own cable channel, OWN, Oprah Winfrey Network. Nine years later, she sold most of her stake in OWN to Warner Brothers Discovery in exchange for shares in the company. Her business savvy also led to partnerships with major companies like Apple and CBS. At CBS, she joined 60 Minutes as a special contributor to the Sunday Evening News Magazine program. Oprah has also made significant contributions to literature, co-authoring five books. Among them are her memoir and a weight loss book she wrote with her personal trainer, Bob Green, in 2005. This book was a phenomenal success, surpassing former U.S. President Bill Clinton's autobiography in advanced sales. These ventures, along with many other investments, have cemented Oprah Winfrey's status as one of the richest women in the world. Her journey from humble beginnings to media mogul and billionaire is a testament to her extraordinary talent, hard work, and resilience. Did you know that these black women hold such wealth? Isn't it true that these black women should unite and form a sort of powerful black women group to get recognized and work for black women? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on these richest black women and what you love about them. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, 
rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.